In this video, I'm going to share with you the defense that every single pro Madden player used in the MCS Ultimate Kickoff event that happened last night. Now, there's two uh, additional game or four or three additional games going on tonight to crown the champion, and these are the schemes that you're going to be seeing that people are going to be running. And what I'm doing is I wanted to break down the first, the defensive side of the ball, and that is the 4 6 playbook. What they did was they subbed in safeties at the linebacker position. The reason why we they do this is because that makes the defenders jump better in pass coverage. Linebackers, unless they have the lurker ability, they don't really jump. So as you see here at the Buccaneers, what I've done is I've put safeties in, Whitehead, and I've put in uh, Winfield, and then obviously Levante David has the lurker ability, but I could also sub in another safety there, and most people did. If he didn't have the lurker ability, that's exactly what I would do. Um, and then we have corners across the board, and then we have our linebackers. We have two linebackers um, in the position of defensive end. So what they do is they come out in 3-3-5 normal, and they audible into 3-3-5 wide because 3-3-5 wide has better pressure. It has um, it has better pressure. It has um, also match coverage principles as well in cover four show two. That plays like cover four quarters, and it's got really good run defense as well. So every single pro pretty much did this. The only pro that didn't do this was uh, Henry, and if the, any pro would have ran the ball just a little bit, Henry probably would have shifted into this defense. That being said, uh, and Henry did have the ability to come out in 3-3-5 wide as well, and I believe he did come out in, in certain situations. Um, it's just he uh, really was playing ice who doesn't really run the ball. So, uh, anyways, that being said, let's jump into the blitz that every pro used to get instant pressure in the tournament. They put, we're going to come out and cover four drop, and we're going to audible down to the Mike Blitz three. From that point, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense, we're going to crash our defensive line to the outside, and we're going to QB contain, and we're going to stand kind of right in here with our user. Now, what you're going to see is we're going to get instant pressure at the quarterback. I actually think I might have crashed my line to the wrong direction. Let me show you that one more time. So again, we're going to go to Mike Blitz 3, we're going to pinch our defense, we're going to crash our line down. I personally think that it makes more sense to stand kind of right here. Some pros like to stand right here, but anyways, let me just show this. And so what you'll see here is we're going to get some B-gap pressure, okay? Now, the way that I think this blitz works just a little bit better than that is by simply pinching your linebackers and then doing the same thing. So we're, instead of pinching our defensive line, we're just gonna pinch our linebackers now, and what you'll see is we're gonna come off that right edge. Now, in my opinion though, this is this blitz is good, but there's ways that we can make it a little bit better. Crashing our line out and leaving them spread, in my opinion, does help the pressure come in more off the left edge, which is actually the better pressure from this. And the reason why I'm going to show you in a minute is because when the reason people love this defense is because let's say that somebody blocks a running back out of the gun bunch if the pressure comes off of the left edge it's almost impossible for that running back to pick that guy up he almost always is going to loop around right there he didn't but he almost always will loop around and get an instant sack so this is one of the tactics that almost every single every single pro in the tournament that we saw last night uh, was using and the reason they were using it is a couple reasons number one it's really simple to set up number two um, it's really effective pressure really quick pressure and number three it just is a simple way that they can force their opponent to block the running back now the cool part is this sets up for max coverage really easily because then all they have to do is just drop their linebackers into hard flats and now they have a max coverage defense right behind it now we know that this defense is one of the best defense in the game and it's the reason why i wrote my four six defensive ebook i wrote my four six defensive ebook to not only teach this defense but to also teach an expanded version of it a different version of it that's better for trips in terms of like defending bunch and defending trips tight end and bunch tight end which were the offenses that you saw last night every single player was running bunch or they were running bunch tight end so if you want to get access to my 4-6 defensive guide, this is the base concept, but we expand on it a ton in my 4-6 defensive guide. We also give a bonus uh, defense out of that dollar three two six, which I think people are sleeping on. I think it's one of the best defenses uh, in the game. So that being said, if you want to get access to my 4-6 defensive ebook that goes over the 3-3-5, three, three, the 3-3-5 three, three, wide, and the dollar three two six. There's a link in the description. You could get that full defense for just 15 bucks. 
every single pro player was running this defense because it is the best defense in the game. So if you want to get access to it, we show you not only how you can create better personnel, we also show you how you can leverage that personnel for different pre-snap adjustments, unique pre-snap adjustments that only exist in nickel 335 to nickel 335 wide. You cannot do it if you just come out in 335 wide. So that being said, I want to thank you for watching the video. And like I said, if you want to get access to my 4-6 defensive ebook, there is a link in the description. All you got to do is click that link. It'll take you right over my website where you can get it all squared away.